high-octane episode of the Fan and Fanatic Pep Rally. So, without further ado, let's get into the first segment, Inside the Mind of the Fanatic. Father, take it away. Okay, I think we have some good ones here. First one I'm going to start off with is the uh, just Coast to Coast Challenge. Tell us why you're looking for that, what did you learn, what's that all about? So earlier today, I was scrolling through Google's like news stories, and I saw something that said that Texas Tech was going to travel to Fort Worth to play um, Vanderbilt in the Coast to Coast Challenge. And I guess the Coast to Coast Challenge is a Pac-12 thing. But, and the reason why I'm not confused right now is because Texas Tech went to the Pac-12. I don't know why, because Texas Tech is not in the Pacific United States, so... You know. Huh. And, and nothing, nothing says, says coast to coast like, like Lubbock, Lubbock, Texas, and Nashville, Nashville Tennessee, Tennessee, bringing them together in Texas. Okay. okay. All, right. All right. Whatever. Uh, uh, so, so check, check that out. If you're basketball, basketball fans of either of those teams and uh, you don't want to be anywhere near the coast, check out the Coast to Coast Challenge. Uh, this other one, this next one, uh, Dolph Shays. Dolph Shays. Tell us about him. Oh, yeah. Uh, Dolph Shays. I, I think I... I, I I I can't remember like where exactly I saw him but oh yeah I saw so I think so I I saw him in a YouTube video from Lost and Unbound and he mis- mispronounced his name and and I like I think he said Shayes and I think it's pronounced Shays so yeah Well who is, who is he maybe you he's should tell after t- you look He's looked. an old-timey basketball player <laughs> old-timey basketball I isn't, love it. isn't that right I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Based, based on the, his the shorts he was wearing, he's definitely old timey. But he was a basketball player, right? Yes, that is correct. That okay. Is correct. okay, okay. There's, There's probably, probably lots more famous, famous things about him. People are screaming and yelling that would be like he did this. But anyway, uh, all right. This one I really like, and and I want you to give me some examples of what you found after you tell us why you were really looking for this. Maybe give some examples. So we had uh, the Google search here is obscure sports teams. So. I've become fascinated with AI recently, and Google's AI Bard had just has just become like like keen on images. So I so sometimes I ask it to find obscure sports logos. So I figured, hey, why not look that up myself? And yeah, I would say some of my results are pretty obscure, but a major I would say a majority of them are minor league baseball team logos. Because Give me some examples. I have like, some here from that search, but what what do you remember? Um, uh, just a few like minor league baseball teams. I'm not exact. I can't exactly remember like which ones. How about the Modesto? Oh yeah, the the Modesto Nuts. Okay, I don't how know. about? I'm, I'm gonna give you the the city. You give me the name. The Akron Rubber Ducks. And the, yes. That's a thing, the rubber ducks, minor the, league baseball, because nothing says minor league base, because nothing says baseball in Akron, Akron like the rubber ducks, apparently. Tires, tires. Uh, uh, Wichita? Wichita? The, uh, oh, the Wichita, no, 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 shoot, Wichita, I don't know. Wing nuts. So, oh! Okay, I got, this is, this is good. Scottsdale. Nope. Fighting artichokes. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, this is a uh, minor league baseball one is too. How about Traverse City? Traverse City? Uh, I don't know. The Beach Bums. What about this? I'm pretty sure you know this one. El Paso. Chihuahuas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh. And also came up here. How about the New Orleans... Baby, baby cakes? cakes? Yes, the baby cakes, which, again, I don't know why, but, I mean, I do, but, st- for some reason, the king cake baby freaks me out, because the pelicans have, like, a live, like, a costume king cake baby, and it is literally the most horrifying thing I've ever seen. It's brilliant for New Orleans. It's, it's very well done. But it's well horrifying done. as heck. <laughs> All right, let's, let's move on. on. This week in sports history, I'll go first. So this week in 2012, Michael Phelps, swimmer, breaks the Olympic medals record, winning his 19th 
medal. Uh, he was part of a freestyle relay in the London Games. Uh, he won 19 medals across three Olympics. Uh, and with that 19th medal, he moved ahead of the previous record holder, uh, a Soviet gymnast by the name of Larissa Latinina. What do you got for us? Very good. Very good. I mean, Michael Phelps basically just like the aqua, the, the pool, the swimming version of Usain Bolt, you know? He, he, he's an aqua goat. Yes. Or an egg goat. Yes. yes. Okay. okay. And uh, what, what, what do you have for us? <clears throat> this day back in 1971, Richard Petty wins the Dixie 500 in Atlanta, Georgia. Represent! To become the first NASCAR driver to win $1 million in career winnings. Dang. Wow. Wow. Talk about, Part- talk about retiring wealthy, man. <laughs> I think, I think they, they make a million dollars a lot faster these days. So uh, I think it's interesting that you you bring up NASCAR. We haven't talked about NASCAR yet on your sports podcast, but we probably should be. And it just – can I – do you want me to tell him or should I? I mean, do you, you, do you want to tell him free. or should I? Feel free. Feel free. My great-grandfather was one of the founding fathers of auto racing. So I can't – so, which, like – and if he was still alive, I would, I, 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 I would have been more than happy to have him on the show. But he's. Let's just say he went to the he went to the big he. Let's say he went to the big NASCAR track in the sky, or however that goes. Yeah. Well, uh, for those who uh, can't read Parker's mind or don't already know, oh, no, no, his no. name is Smoky Eunuch. Y U N I C K. Google it. Wasn't it? What is it? Wasn't his name like Edward something rather? Henry. No, Henry Smoky Eunuch the first or whatever. Yeah, Smokey was a nickname uh, from when he raced motorcycles as a as a young lad. Uh, so a young a little whippersnapper. Yeah, they didn't have a name for him, but his motorcycle apparently, and hopefully I'm telling the story correctly, uh, caught on fire, or at least it was smoking, and the announcer didn't have a name, so he just called him Smokey. All right. Now here's the third part coming up next on the show. Who are we meeting this week? This week we're meeting someone of whom were, was a women's college basketball coach at um, – oh, man. Oh, shoot. Why did I forget? A number of different places. A number of Let's different let places. Those... Yes. Go ahead. Tell them who it is. Mr. Brad Hodge, who's actually, who's actually happened to be related – who actually happens to be related to one of our previous guests, Mr. J.W. Hodge. So shout out to J.W. And so, yeah, ch- tune in on uh, – on- Tune in next Tuesday to see how that goes. For my broadcast partner, Ryan Grilecki, I'm Parker Grilecki saying, this has been another installment of the Fan and Fanatic Pep Rally. Game, set, match, bye.